All right, I'm going to take another look at the Coden FPV drone uh, or a drone video feed on 5 gigahertz. I have um, the same camera I had last time set up here. Uh, this can be done on a Hack RF, uh, but I don't have that right now. I've got a Blade RF plugged in a 5 gigahertz antenna on it. Uh, we'll show two programs. Sig Digger, which I've shown in the past, but now it has a new feature, which I'm working on getting in the new Dragon OS. And then we'll touch on uh, SDR Angel. So if we come down here, let's open up other. Uh, I don't have this uh, Sig Digger out there, this particular version out there on Dragon OS yet. Uh, and, and normally I would show how to add it, but uh, I've already got it set up and just want to show how this can actually work. First, we're going to go to our settings. In this case, I'll pick the Blade RF. I'll bump the sample rate up to 15 or so. And the same with the bandwidth. You can do, like I said, you can use the Hack RF. Uh, let's see. I've already got it pretty much on the frequency here. We're going to run it. We won't decimate it down. Uh, this might look a little slow after a second here because I'm streaming it over from a laptop to record this, but you can see how you can tune and find the frequency and then you'll take this viewing window out to cover the signal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record and we'll play it back and then we're going to demodulate uh, and view the video feed. So the capture recorder is set in the, the path here. I'll go ahead and hit record. We'll capture a little bit of this to the disk drive, hard drive. All right, that's good enough. So stop. We will stop the capture, open up settings, go to file source, browse for the raw file that you just recorded. We can go ahead and leave everything else as is. Hit OK. Hit Run. Now it's playing that recording back in the in the window here, and we'll go to Inspection. We'll open F, uh, open yeah, open up FSK Inspector. This probably looks familiar. I've shown this before. Uh, you might have to play with the window here. We'll go ahead and hit. Uh, start. Now you see this new tab, or you will once it's in there, uh, Analog TV. Now we see we're playing that capture back. And you may find that you need to check off of the presets and start trying out different things. Let's see, that would be the horizontal sync. All right, so that's, I guess, more or less a sneak peek of that. Now let's take a look at another way of doing this. If we come up here, we go to our SDR Angel. Open it up where you can see here. Now normally you would, of course, open it up and you wouldn't have the ATV demodulator over here. But what I'll do is uh, we'll select the sampling device. I've got the Blade RF selected. Again, Hack RF will work in here. 
Uh, I added an ATV demodulator to put it over here. I'll go ahead and reset its settings to default so you can follow along. I've got the sample rate up here, 18, bandwidth 18, and I've already got the uh, frequency up here. So let's see. I at least I have found that uh, this asymmetrical filter, uh, the cutoff, if we open this aperture up here. I've done uh, H-Sync and Vertical Sync. You can mess with the TV standards here. And you probably start to recognize uh, or see something pretty clear in the window here. You can mess with the sink line, but it does a pretty good job of, let's see, doing this, uh, demodulating this video feed live. So just to show you it's live, here's my hand. There you go. So that is off of this 5 gigahertz uh, little drone camera that I have, analog video feed. And so that's two ways, two techniques, two tools, I guess you'd say, of demodulating and viewing that video feed. There you go, a little shout out to rtlsdr.com dongle there. I've got uh, SDR Play, uh, RSP Duo sitting below it, Blade RF. So uh, I'm sure that the uh, RSP1 Alpha, RSP Duo Duo could uh, also be used in here if you had something on the more in the 2 gigahertz or less band. And, um, you know, of course, the bandwidth. Uh, 10, 10 I think it is on, on either one of those devices and uh, not sure about the RTL SDR dongle I'm sure if you had something um, set up broadcasting uh, with the sample rate and bandwidth um, that you have to play with it might be possible so all right, all right. Uh, now I don't go over all the specific settings because to be quite honest I don't know every single one of them in and out so that kind of is uh, on whoever's watching, you know, do a little more homework on what all those settings are. I spend enough time as it is trying to get all this work, and I, I'd probably never leave the room here if I was reading up on every single uh, ins and outs of uh, what's all going on here. But this definitely uh, helps me at least learn. Uh, it's really exciting. I know analog TV might not be really around that much. Um, NTSC, PAL, all that kind of stuff, but uh, there is still some devices out there that you can get that use that, and uh, yeah, all right, have a good one.